loving you. What's up, what's up, what's up? I got a good message to that. A good message. I want to teach black people how white folks got us confused. Y'all can say this. This is a message for my sisters, and I'm going to be nice to them because it's such a sensitive topic. If I don't be nice, they will be sad and offended. So I must be nice and sweet to them. I'm going to be nice and sweet to the ladies today. Family, family, family. Will do, Brian. I will click that in box. I saw you had sent me some videos last night, but I had got tired. So, I got a great message this morning. Uh, <coughs> can I let the beat bill? While I'm waiting on this message, can I? I'm gonna sing me a song. Can I sing me a song? Can I? Can I sing me a song? Black folks, we are such enthralled by the Disney World concept of love that we don't even realize that everything we do, we do out of usatory situations. Your friends are usatory. He lived up the street from me. He had a PlayStation. She lived up the street from me. Her mom was this. Everything that go on in your life is usatory. Now, we're going to get into this message. But I feel like singing me a little song. Somebody say, hold up, let them get their money. Let me sing me a song. Can I sing me a little jam? Just to feel good. Love. Everything is usatory. I definitely gonna post it to YouTube, fam. Everything is usatory. Every relationship, every situation, everything is usatory. When you meet a guy or you meet a woman, you don't fall in love with them. You don't just start going with them. You don't take them home to meet your mama the first day. You don't take them to meet your kids. You get to know them. And you say, oh, he's a this, she's a that. I can use this person in this way. Once you realize what a person's uses are, how useful they are, then you decide. You can meet a person and they are very attractive and they fuck you good, right? But they don't have a lot of other uses. I want to sing a Disney World song. I call this Disney. I'm a freestyle. We call this Disney World. I want to be loved. I want them butterflies in my stomach. I want to feel like I'm missing, like I kiss him. I can want to vomit. Shout that love ain't real. It's just a feeling that you feel. Chill. You on that Disneyland. Disney World, that shit you learned when you was a girl, when you first got your first doll, you wanted to be a mammy, you really wanted a pappy, you wanted to find someone to make your life happy, but your grandma told you what the deal, don't marry the man that you love, marry the man that love you, but you didn't want to do what grandma told you to do, now you sitting back with two kids, mad as shit, wishing you could start your life all over again. Well, love ain't what you should have looked for. You should have looked for one when you could use. You should have thought about that when you choose. All that good looking and good smile, shit, that shit don't pay the bills after the while. And all that good fucking and good kissing and good loving, that shit ain't really amounts to nothing. Cause one day a nigga dick gonna get shriveled up and your titties gonna fall down with gravity. You ain't hearing me with clarity. Your ass gonna get go from fat to flat, or you gonna go from slim to fat. Shit, we don't like that. But if you ain't got nothing better than a pose in front of your camera, I'm telling you gonna be jammed up, girl. If you can't do nothing but pose in front of your camera, I'm telling you gonna be jammed up, girl. And nigga, if all you got is some cash in your pocket, Best believe that you're not going to have this girl for your locking. I keep my bitches locked down because I'm worth something else. My beat went off. Listen, man, let me get into the message, man. You 
don't understand that you've been hypnotized by Disney World. See, love movies is for white girls because when these Disney movies were being written, white black folks was poor. So white men owned all the resources and had all the money. So what he was saying to his daughter back in the day, a dowry was something that a man gave somebody that was marrying his daughter. Hey, you taking this girl off my hands? Here's three cows, a mule. Here's $50,000. This is why the daddy paid for the wedding. But the white man switched it up with Disney World when he had all the resources. The white man said, now look, daughter, back in the day, I used to pay a man to take you off my hands. But now, since we got slaves and free labor, we got money and all these resources we want you to marry a Prince Charming, someone who sweeps you off your feet, someone who romanticizes you, someone that got plenty of things to give you. That's the white woman version of love. That's not for black folks. Black folks ain't had a damn dime, ain't had no money, broke as shit. You understand? Black women have been taught to love for feelings. Because you are not white. See, when white people give Disney World stories, they is for white people and white life. But you are not white. Ain't no black man, no Prince Charming. Ain't no black man gonna scoop you off your feet. You gonna have to work too if you got a black husband. You ain't gonna be too many single black mothers that can live in a big house, have old big washing machine and all that shit she want as a single mother and not work. That's for white folks. Did you foolish? I feel so sorry for black women absorbing that white woman mindset. If you're a black woman, you're going to work. If you're a black woman, you're going to work. Then you're going to pick them kids up from school. You're going to come home. You're going to help the kids with their homework. And you're going to cook something to eat. You might have to suck some meat tonight. Notice I ain't cussing. See, in the black family, the man, all the man got to do is work. That's universal. All a man got to do is work. White man come home from work, get his glass, get his scotch, four ice cubes, drink his scotch. Hey, Billy, how was school? It was great, Dad. Hey, Susan, how was school? It was great, Dad. Well, go on in there with your mom, do your homework and help your mom cook. I'm finna go out here and drink me some liquor and sit on the goddamn deck and chill or go fishing. When I get home, I'm expecting the mama to have the goddamn kids fed in bed and ready to give me some head. See, that's what the white man can do because he made all the money. So that's established. So the black man, we in an American white society, so all we gonna do is what the white man do because we've been brainwashed too. As a black man, we don't think we got to do no fucking homework. First cuss, let me stop. Let me pull off the cursing. We don't think we got to do no homework, cook no meals. The black man do the same thing. Hey, I go to work every day. I come home at 7 o'clock. ain't out here in the streets fucking around on you like that. Hey, you better got them, get them kids right and get something to eat going on in here. See, the black man, no, he ain't got to do none of that shit. Same way the white man. So as a white woman, the Disney World lifestyle of you're going to find your husband that has plenty of money and you're supposed to pick who you like and pick who you love. And then you're going to be a stay at home mom and you're going to just take care of the kids and be a soccer mom. That's not the black woman's life. As the black woman's life, you better pick the best motherfucker that you can use and still realize that you still going to have to work. And be a wife and a mother. See, it's a different lot for a black woman and a white woman in America. I wish y'all would share this, but y'all were scared of me. Y'all afraid of me. If you're afraid of me, can you hit my cash app? Because I got some good shit to talk about. And, and I damn near want to stop the message because I ain't getting enough shares. I'm, 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 I'm in my feelings like a woman. Send me a cash app. Let me play a song or something. Let's, let's, I got to get one cash app before I keep going. I'm going to start doing like Umar Johnson, man. Let me sing another uh, song about love. I love. I've been working all day and I'm coming home tired. Got a dick in my face. Got to put food in the pot. I'm a black woman. Ain't no white woman. I should have picked with my mind, but I picked with my heart. Now my baby daddy gone and I got a brand new start. I'm a black woman. Ain't no white woman. 
You been fuck around picking with your heart, baby. Fuck around feeling love crazy. Now you mad cause the nigga got a new lady. And you fucked up saying it did you shady. You should have picked someone that was useful. But you picked someone who was useless. So you got none but dick down. You should have picked someone that you could confess You didn't feel like you needed to go with your mind You had butterflies in your stomach And you went how your heart fell Now you got your heart held You got your heart in your hand You in pain White love and black love ain't the same thing You ain't fucking with no white man You got a black brother And a black brother gon' have to let's see Work hard and come home and drink a beer and watch TV and tell you shit. Why the fuck the house ain't clean and why the kids so snotty? Do you got some on the stove? Goddamn, I'm getting hungry. Uh, what you mean your feet hurting? I don't give a fuck if you've been working. I've been working too, but I'ma keep it real. I can have another bitch and she'll be ready for me to move up out of here. Matter of fact, I got four on the side. I ain't trying to lie. You're using me and I'm using you too. That's what grown folks do. When I met my wife, she had a 780 credit store. But two kids, what more? But she had a house and she had some good mouth. I was a teacher with benefits. So shit, let's make this shit work. And we still using each other to this motherfucking day. And the second I can't use her, I'm gonna ditch her and leave her. And the second she can't use me, you best believe she's saying the same motherfucking thing. What you got to say about that, Chris? The second she can't use my black ass, see, I'm getting older. And the dick don't get harder than it used to. And I don't beat that ass from the back like I used to. And I don't grab a hair because I had not got shorter. And she don't like a hair grab. Matter of fact, she don't like sweating too much because she getting hot. She like, roll over. Why don't you lay in the lake way you lay in the wet spot? I used to like to lay in the lights wet spot. I used to be mad when she didn't get up and go get that hot rag and wipe my head off. But see, now she didn't cool down. I'll go get the hot rag now. I'm just playing. Listen, let me get back into my message. This sister on my page, now let me teach my sister something because I'm the woman whisperer. This sister, I said, love is Disney World. You need to find someone you can use. Because when you meet somebody, you say, oh, they're cute first. They're cute. Or you might meet somebody, you'd be like, they're not that cute. And then you get to talking to them and they say, well, I ain't that cute, but you can use me like this. This is what I got to offer. And then you say, oh, you're not that cute, but you have these things to offer. Hmm, you're not that cute, but you're very useful. Yeah. Then you weigh it. You motherfucking women need your head smacked off. Because men want to tell the truth. We want to walk up to you and tell you, I don't know if I like you. I know I want to fuck you real bad. Adrian Clement, if this the best part of your day, sister, send me a cash app. I don't give a fuck if it's 92 cent or 13 fucking cent. Don't say I'm the best part of your day and don't send me a motherfucking cash app. When Kevin Hart on Netflix, Idris Elba, you're watching LL Cool J, Punky Bruce and shit on fucking Prime Video. If you pay your motherfucking cable bill, send me a motherfucking cash app. I'm not doing nothing for free no more. This brother paid me to put this message up. I shoot my cash app up for any offers I can get but now listen you meet a person you say this bitch a fat bitch i don't really like that but she got good credit can i talk room can i y'all mind if i talk real for a second said if y'all don't mind can i talk real with y'all for a second everybody can look at you as a relationship and tell who used to Everybody can look at a relationship and tell why who used who. Everybody can look at me and look at Chris and say, hmm, that big fine motherfucker can have any bitch he want. That woman must have been making some good money. Plus, she got two kids. Wonder what she had. Yeah, she had a good credit, a uh, goddamn house, and put me a Benz in her name. You goddamn right. Now, having them kids won't, won't the highest point, but hey, I'm a man. I put kids in order like I put women in order, so that won't a big deal to me. And, and, and she looked at me. She said, goddamn, 
This big fine motherfucker, he college educated, school teacher. I'm used to do, d dating street niggas that go to jail. He got health benefits. I'm going to go with him. He can be my baby's new daddy. And guess what? I can clean up my street background. I don't want to say whore background because my wife went with the same dope boy for about 10, 15 years. So you can't say call it a whore dope. But it, let's just call it a whore. To me, if you fucking with a dope boy, you're a whore. Let's just call it, let's call it a whore. Let's call it what it is. Let's not clean it up. So, my thing is, she looked at me and said, this nigga go to church, teacher, college educated, he gonna be a good role model for my kids. So, we using each other to this motherfucking day. Now, our youngest son is finna graduate high school. So, that whole, I'm a daddy, I'm a daddy, your kids go, I, you know how we play it up. When times were down and I, I needed to bring out my guns, hey, God damn it, I picked you and you had two kids and I'm going to be a daddy to your kids and I'm going to make sure they go to college and be great men. And then she had to heal a little bit. Let me heal. This motherfucker is a daddy. I don't want to lose my kid's daddy because they is at an age where they can fuck up in life. I'm going to at least stay with them till my kids turn 18. Now that Davion finna be 18 and in college, naturally he going to Central. Where the fuck else would he go? I'm the man in the house. He going to be like the fucking man that's around him. So when Davion get to college and get to Central, she could be like, all right, nigga, you 44 now, 43. That dick don't get hard as it used to. You get tired more when you're fucking me. My damn son going to college. I don't need you as much as I used to. You kind of, is some of your uses is falling off. And I see, I got to still remain useful. See, that's what you motherfuckers don't understand. You picking useless motherfuckers from day one and then you hurt. See, my wife, right now, I can ask her. She cooking up food or something. Chris, I don't fuck like I used to do her. Mm -hmm. Speak up for them so they can hear you. No. Hey, look, no. dick don't get hard as you used to do it? No. On special occasions when you, but it don't, okay? Take a little longer, take a little longer. As we get older, do you want to hold and lay up under me in the bed? No, because I be hot. She be hot. I be hot, this motherfucker sweating, so we don't want, need to hold each other like that at night. Okay, Davion going off to college, do you need me to be a daddy anymore? Okay, now, live on camera, let's teach these motherfucking, uh, I want to call them dummies, but I ain't. But let's teach these fucking dummies some who letting this white man concept of love fuck with their mind. Now, how am I still useful to you? What can you still use me for? Um, help me advance in college. You hear what um, she said? Go ahead. Yeah, you help me advance in college. Because I'm what? You're emotionally supportive. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's stop. Hold on. We're going to do them one at a time so these fools can see this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can help you in advance in college. Why can I help you advance in college? First of all, you help me understand college more than... I'm intelligent. Let's just say that. You're okay. feeling good. I'm intelligent. Uh -huh. Am I not one of the most intelligent people you know? Yeah, I mean, you, my teachers don't know stuff you know. And when you met teachers that I, that I had and told them that you was my wife, what they say? Most of them pride was just like they've been wondering what happened to him, happened to you from undergrad, uh, professors that made me work harder because I was connected to you. They was like, they okay, we good you. there. So yeah. I'm intelligent. How else can you use me? I mean, emotionally, when I'm in there trying to be strong about this workload that I've given myself, you know, okay, that's good emotionally. How else can I? Because some people don't think I'm good emotionally because they think I yell and scream. Do I walk around this house yelling and screaming? No, but I mean, passionate. Okay, now let me throw out some to you that a woman won't think of on live. What did I just buy the other day? Uh, what? Oh, some medicine? No, what did we go down and I had to fill out the paperwork for? Oh, gun. Okay, guns. Don't you need protection in the house? Yeah. Okay, you see what I mean? Her, her son is about to be gone to mail. So what else you might think you might need me for? Uh, damn, I rely on you everything. I mean, first of all, you research for my health. So as I'm getting older, the things that my body is going through, I mean, I tell you about it. I come home, you got an answer for me. You got a solution. And don't I order shit for you, special you shit? Stuff. Okay, um, okay. Uh, you train me, so I'm not just working out, but like we stretching and we doing things that's for my overall health in the future. So okay, let 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 let, let, let let's ask this. Uh, aside from all of that, don't you like the reputation of being a married woman? Yeah. 
Do you want to be a single woman out here in this motherfucking world like these women looking for love? Okay, now let me tell you some reasons I can use her. She in school now, so all the money she had ain't there no more. Uh, her 780 credit score that she had ain't that no more. Okay? Once I hit the pussy two, three times, I don't give a fuck about her body and none of that shit anymore. I don't give a fuck about that. Okay? So, uh, why do I still love this woman? <laughs> Or why am I still using this woman? This woman is emotionally supportive to me. This woman is part of an empire I'm building. I like being a married man. I like to be able to say, hey, I've been with this woman 14, 15 years, and I had a new woman three and a half years. You motherfuckers can't even stay in a relationship with one guy or one woman. I've been with a woman 13 years, 12 years, bring in a new wife, and been with her three and a half years. Thriving. Don't take my years away. Oh yeah, I'm not taking you. But what I'm saying is these motherfuckers can't even stay in one relationship. Why? Because they're not picking useful people. Mm -hmm. they picking heart people. And let me add this. Talk if to I them, baby. Because when you, when you say you bring in another woman. So somebody could say, well, if she's so useful, why do you need that? Well, in my journey, now that I don't need him as a father anymore... I can go and pursue my own personal dreams so now I can leave and go get my PhD. Or, But even now, I'm getting my master's. It's very time consuming. So those things that he used to use me for, it's not pressure on me to still deliver that because someone else is there to help in that area so I could do me. And a lot of women complain about they had to give up their life because they was a wife and a mother. I don't have to do that. I get to do everything that I want to do. There's nothing I have not done thus far. So Now, watch this. And on the flip side, am I a slim 25, 26, 30 year old man? No. What about if you want to fuck you a young boy? Can okay. I can I turn into a young boy for you? No. Okay, so she do what she want to do. You get that? <laughs> she just don't want no nigga living in here. And I don't want I, no nigga living look, in here. I, look, Less is a I'm nigga that got a whole lot of money. You can live in here. Fuck both of these hoes. You know what I'm saying? You know, just being real. We, we talking about usefulness. Uh, yeah. they, somebody asked me, would I have a sister brother? Yeah. I ain't got to lay up with him. But see, look, I can't fuck both of these hoes. These hoes don't want to. I'm joking. These hoes don't want to fuck like that anyway. Women shouldn't say, fuck know, unless they are related. I, like I like newness. So for, for me, for a dude... Just like how niggas, like, after two, three times, or you say, you know what, after I done interacted with somebody for a certain amount of time, I don't, I'm not interested like that. Yeah. So, I don't need anybody, per se, to help me build something we've already been building. But if I want to, you know, feel a little new. So, we when we fuck, it's because we done did something great together. She just graduated magna cum laude, summa cum laude. We done did something built. We done bought some, purchased some, made some happen. Me and her don't look at each other and be like, yeah, I want to fuck. No, why? No one does that. This is, this is the problem with the world. They pick people and they don't grow. So when you pick a motherfucker because he popular in your hometown and you picked him and let him skeet in you and have a baby by you, hey girl, he's only popular because he on the football team in your little bitty ass town. He ain't even go to college. When your little local dope boy guy gets you pregnant, he ain't making enough money. He going to jail. He going to prison. Now you're mad because you can't use him. If you be honest with yourself and say, you know what? I picked this motherfucker because he had a little money. He was popular. And now this man ain't got no money and he ain't popular. He ain't got that no more. Let me let him be a baby daddy. Let me be nice to him. Or when a dude pick a girl and say, man, I skeeted in this girl because she was fat and thick and popular in high school. And now the bitch can gain 30 pounds. The bitch fat, sloppy, got two kids by three other men. Now he embarrassed by her. Then he needs to just tell himself, you know what? I picked this girl because she was had a nice body and popular. She don't got that no more. Let me be accountable why I pick her and not be mad at embarrassed by her. Because when you picked her, she was uh, Laquisha. Now she built like goddamn Geraldine. In them. And if I can add, um, my degree is in uh, family studies, and actually in our book, in the books that we read, which is still, I don't get why I need to be a book, however, they discuss that you ain't supposed to pick a mate based on looks. 
That was that was or like feelings. taboo or feel that was considered taboo at some point. Like people didn't used to do that. You picked a man you being able to use each other and women got married really young because they were never intended to be in the workforce. They were gonna be housewives, so they needed to be taken care of. So this man was not gonna be based on how cute he was. And he was dating wanna thing. He could bring in. Yeah. Dating meant somebody might hit that pussy four times. Yeah, so 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 watch, watch this. This is what I want to teach them. And I'm gonna teach women and I'm gonna give you some game. Don't be the I love you as a woman. Be the I love you too. Yeah. It's too many women out here loving men that don't go with them or who ain't committed to them. How the fuck this lady on my timeline? I said, Do you got a man? She said, I believe in love. I'm a child. I must be a child. I don't agree with you. I said, Do you got a man? She said, I'm dating somebody who I'm in very in love with. I said, sweetheart, first of all, dating means you don't have a man. But why would you be in love with a man before he committed to you? You don't even get the full usage of him. You date, you don't get him to look this woman right here. Watch this. This woman right here know where the shotguns and shit at. She know that I'm ready and prepared. Even if I can't handle shit, I'm ready and prepared. This woman know. This woman know why you love this guy and you don't get full uses of him. So as a woman, you be you wait for a nigga to say, I love you, and then commit to you. When a nigga say, I love you, this is what you do. You say, Well, if you love me, commit to me. And until he to you say I love you you my woman then you say I love you too why the fuck would you tell a man you love him before he committed to you send me some fucking cash apps you right Oprah ain't this real I am the fucking woman whisperer I'm, I, I train women's minds if they listen to me but I'm gonna be honest with you it's called aggressive self help so ladies if you're watching don't be mad I just be I call it aggressive self help what I do I aggressively cuss your fucking ass out tell you how fucking stupid you is to be tell I love you you love this man and you don't even go with him yet you stupidest motherfucker you looking for love how you looking for love marrying for love when you meet a person you figure out how you can use them then you go with them and then by the time you're going with them you marry them so love ain't a real thing so I call you a dummy I call you a little girl a child to make you think and say damn my first two baby daddies was motherfuckers that I da 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 and I fuck with your head and call you stupid so it really gets, see if I said it like opening y'all in Van Zandt, you'll be like, oh yeah, I understand and you'll just cry. I try to offend y'all, call you a fucking dummy. You fucking dummy, you let this motherfucking man come in you and motherfucker told him you love him, he don't even go with you. Now you mad because he in jail, call him a deadbeat dad, you a dumb hoe. What the fuck you go with this motherfucker, let him skeet in you and have a kid before you knew what kind of, be accountable you hoe. See, I do you like that and it make you mad. But see, if you just coming in on the live, you'll go report me. But if you've been watching me, you'll be like, yo, this nigga really on my... And see, it's called aggressive self-help. Because if I could, I would just walk up to you and say, slap. What the fuck you still fucking with Craig for? You can't call this motherfucker to bring you a goddamn sandwich or a pack of fucking nabs and ginger ale in the corona. You got two kids, two boys. How many times Craig took your son? Slap, bitch. I walk, I wish I could walk up to every black woman I know. Who you get pregnant by? Who your baby daddy? What you say you, you still fucking this guy? He ain't handling, bap. Hey, you dumb whore. What you mean? I hear women say this all the time. I keep my relationships, my men and my kids separate. So you don't want no father figure for your kids? So you want a man just, bap. You goddamn stupid ass whore. The fuck you mean you keeping your kids? No, don't keep fat, fat, fat. Don't keep your goddamn kids and your man separate. Go find a man you fat, fat, trust around your kids, you fucking stupid ass whore. That's how I would do you. So I, that's how I would do you. Baby, can you get me a towel? Yeah. Ain't nobody drunk. Let me block this man for calling me drunk and because he put an emoji on my time. That's what I would say to him. Slap, slap, slap. Ain't nobody nigga drunk. Get the fuck off my timeline. With they the... just don't get, they don't hear people. <laughs> they get... think I'm drunk, Chris. Let me tell you why. These bitch ass niggas got to cater to these women to get some pussy. That's, I tell you the truth. Every man wants to slap your motherfucking ass into some sense because you don't listen to us. Every race of men, the white man, the Chinese man, the African, every race of man cover his bitch up and slap her when she get out of line. Now watch this. These men, 
don't understand. It's only two ways to goddamn discipline and run your house. Whether if hey look, if you're a mother, if you're a mother, mothers do the same thing. Men, mothers have a power to do something that men can't do. Mothers have the power to say, I'm running my household, and you're my child, and I have two other children. And before I let you make my other two children go astray, I'm going to slap you and whoop your ass or you're getting the fuck out of here. Now, as a man, I should have the same motherfucking power. I'm the man. I'm the head to run the household. Now, you got my daughter with a TikTok. You TikToking with my daughter, calling her your twin. Hey, guess what? Slap. You're going to do what the fuck I say. Or I'm motherfucking leaving your ass the same way a mother does her child. Slap, do what I say. Let me run this house and raise you or you get the fuck out. A man should be able to do the same thing. Slap. But because a man can't do that, we just leave your ass stranded. Now, let's be real. Let's talk for a second. Let's talk for a second. Now, watch this. Watch this. Chris, have I ever hit you? No. Never. Never. Have you ever like, like grabbed on me in a way that you felt like I might have should have hit your ass? Yeah. Now, watch I this. I remember till it played out in my mind like, am I telling you you're not going? Yeah. <laughs> she, TV. TV. <laughs> TV. I See tried. what I'm saying about TV and these songs? Big 6'6 six, six, nigga. Look at me beside my wife. Look at me beside my wife. Right? <laughs> right? Now, she smarting off in the mouth. I decide, let me get the fuck out of here and get me some air, okay? She grabbed on me, holding me, trying to stop me from leave. Because why did you do it? The songs, the music. Yeah. It seemed like the right thing to do, yeah, right? It's like, like a romantic he leaving. fight. He leaving. So I'm going to grab him and hold him. I said, if you don't get your motherfucking mm -hmm. hands off me, I'm leaving to get some air. i never come back. And then you said what? Okay, now watch this. Watch this. She said most men don't provide enough to take control like that in 2020. Hey, sister, a man is more than money. My wife has made more money than me and provided and took care of us financially while I was in school for years. So it ain't got nothing to tell her about yeah, this money it's not shit. About money. That's, that's the first thing a fucking woman. I'm gonna block her. No, I ain't. No, I was. No, no, no. I, I, man, I want to block shit. Remember, what you think? That's what's wrong with the world. A woman. That's some dumb woman shit. And I'm a, I'm a scholar right now. But I know she trying to be real. Hey, it ain't about money. Men are more than money. Men are more than money. Okay. You need your baby daddy for more and money. Now, does she acquiesce? She understand? Tell her how you was paying all the fucking bills and shit for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was. So we don't even have to go through that. But it's the thing most women don't even believe that they will find that. So it was, it's even crazy to put yourself under that. Put a man under the pressure to find something you don't think you'll find. Anyway, so you could just find a man that you can use for things other than money. But the problem is, you don't know what you want. Don't know what you need. So you don't, don't want to listen to You don't want a man for nothing but money. You don't want a man to, 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 to teach you and lead you and guide you and raise you your children. Hair. You, you want, want a man bag. for money you so you can have extra shit yeah. so your kids can always have the toys so they want because they fucking daddy ain't around. You want hair and shit. You don't want... Now watch this. When you grabbed on me, that's some movie shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look, watch this. Have you ever told me to sleep on the couch before? No. Yes, you did. What did I say? Oh, when you snore? Okay, but we was arguing when we first got together. Oh, okay. What did I say when you told me to sleep on the couch? Oh, you ain't getting in, you ain't get married to damn sleep on the couch. And told you if anybody sleep on the couch, it'll be your motherfucking oh, ass. Oh, I think I just if, cognitively forgot that. Yeah, purpose. if you don't want to be in the bed with me, you going to sleep on the motherfucking couch. Now, where you get that from, go sleep on the couch at? I'm on TV, I guess. I ain't seen nobody do it. TV! <laughs> TV. So that's what you do, you and that's where the black woman's mind at TV. You think you gonna make me sleep on the motherfucking couch? You trying to clip Huxtable B? Yeah. You what make you think you could do some goddamn shit like that? The same reason you think you supposed to see a man and get butterflies and you marry him. What? Let's sit down for a second. You got the mo you got you got the I, mo I really I think that um TV image. Go ahead. TV image, but also too, people gonna think I'm being like, 
you thinking that you can do your buy your own shit, you know what I'm saying, support yourself is why is why women act like that. Come on. Because women are feel like they so self sufficient, they never really buy into the idea of what they really need a man for that money can't buy. You exactly. know what I'm saying? We used to being able to buy our way out of problems and stuff like that. And so it just made me think of that. You can't know. pay for a goddamn ADHD kid to act right in school. You need a mind. Now watch this. Let's talk about the white girls. I remember Lynn said one day when she was at college, they was asking her, she was asking, what you going to be when you get out of college? The white girls, she played volleyball at Texas, D1 school, Texas Longhorns. And she said she would ask the white girls, what you majoring in? What you going to do? And they, they would base their major around what men make the most money. And they would be flunking out, but they just holding on. They waiting to get a fraternity guy. So Lynn said, what you going to do after you graduate? She said, I'm going to be a wife. So what you come to college for? I came to college to meet a smart-ass engineer. I'm a blonde-haired white girl. I'm trying to meet a cornball engineer to take care of me. And see, this is the problem. When you grow up in a household where you don't see a mother and a father and a father be a father and a mother be a mother, you don't understand what's needed by a father. Yeah. You don't understand what's needed by a father. If you grow up in a household where your mother is a stay-at-home mother, your, your hopes and dreams is to be a stay-at-home mother like your mother. Now, if you grow up in a household where your mama had to work two jobs to take care of you, your hopes and dreams is going to be, let me get a good paying job that I don't have to work hard like my mama. Y'all don't realize you're telling on your mama. You're telling on your mama when you going out here in this world talking about you want to make all this money and do all this shit as a woman. You basically saying, I grew up in a single parent motherfucking household and my mama had to work like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And the idea of being a stay at home mama is unreal to me because my mama never done it. Now, mm -hmm. let me say this before Chris take the floor. Between Chris and Lynn, Chris didn't grow up with a mama and daddy. Lynn grew up in a house with a mother and father. So when you see how clean the house is, Chris know how to clean up and shit, all that shit. When Lynn going to fix a prettier plate than Chris. Lynn is going to do everything prettier than Chris. She's going to clean it up prettier than Chris. Because she saw her mother be a, a working mother, but still had to make daddy a sandwich. Still had to keep the house clean. See, when you a single woman, you can slip. Your kid's not going to tell you, hey, mama, the clothes in the dryer, you know, shit is kind of dirty around here, blah, 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 blah. See, when you got a man, a man going to say, what the fuck you doing? I don't give a fuck if you got to work. You still got to handle these responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Now, let me give you some real game real quick. Everything that's massagey, rubby, womanly, girly that you want a stay-at-home mother to do, that's Lynn. But Lynn can't balance a fucking checkbook. That's the, that's, that's the strength. She'll go out and earn. She's the virtuous woman. She'll provide. Lynn don't know how much money in this house. Lynn ain't got a fucking clue how much money come in this house. Lynn just sit back. Hey, I want to go to the grocery store and buy some cantaloupes and some organic tampons for me and Chris. And then I say, hey, Chris, hey, send Lynn some money. Because I don't fucking know. Because if I had the money, I'd fuck it up. So she's the virtuous one. She's the backbone. She's the strength. She know her worth. We giving y'all some game right here that's so strong. I'm giving you some game just based on saying with me having two women, they both have different uses. I don't expect Chris to rub my feet or rub my back. But she'll do it now when I ask you why. Because Lynn do it. Because Lynn do it. <laughs> you see? See, I've been telling men for the longest, you will never be happy unless you have two women. Everything that Chris wouldn't do before or did begrudgingly, she like a puppet dog. <laughs> I rub the feet now because there's a competition. There's, there's a fight for usage. That's how it should be. And Lynn going to rub feet and rub backs because Lynn got a car payment that Chris paid. So Lynn, Lynn going to be, yeah, whatever you need, whatever you need. You want some lemons in your drink, Chris? Because when it come time for Lynn to hop in that car and roll out and be Lynn and act the goddamn fool at the parks and stuff and buy sandwiches and snacks all day, that money come from Chris. So when a woman look at a Chris and say, how you let another woman in or look at Lynn, they don't understand. It's about usage. Mm -hmm. You think she's going to let a bitch come in here that's dirty and don't clean up? You know, it's about usages. It's about usages. And that's too much free game. I need to hear some goddamn cash apps right quick. 
I mean, somebody sent me a cash app for all that game. Now, Chris, you break down to them what you was going to say about how a woman don't even understand what's a man's place because she ain't never had it. She ain't never. What you was you, you was oh, going. Let me I ain't going to let though, you lose you your said, point. When you said, uh, let me say this, though, when you were saying the difference between like, say, for example, because my mother worked full time. We had to do the chores, so we kids have ass and doing chores. So I done grew up half ass and doing chores just enough to for it not to be fucked up. <laughs> Lynn didn't have to do no chores, but she saw her mother always in there having shit ready for her daddy. You get what I'm saying? So she is she's paid attention to the detail in which her she saw her mother do it. You get what I'm saying? So she can recreate what she saw. It's still what you said. I was just going a little deeper. Yeah. I didn't have to see that. My mother was like, go in there and do it. And you just did it. And it was suffice enough. But not like a grown person going in there and finessing it. You know what Watch I'm saying? Watch this. Watch this. I want y'all to do this while Chris talk. And I'm going to give y'all some game. But this is the Bible. This is These are the people that predicted the world. Somebody look up Isaiah 4.1. Go put up Isaiah Chapter 4, verse 1. I need somebody to do that for me. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. I should play your song back to you while we're waiting on it. Because that song is, is an explanation. So that lyric, she said, I got to find my way back to you. I will walk a thousand miles to lay down next to you. I will wait a thousand years to be reborn to you. So that woman saying she need me. You see what I'm saying? And I'm saying if I had to do it all over again, I would do it the same. And so when people when people think like this a relationship where I'm being dominated or something like that, my thing I'm saying I'm in so full control over my decision to be in this relationship and how it's going. There's no there's I mean, it's hierarchy in the sense of yeah, he's stronger than me, but it's not hierarchy as far as nobody has me here. Man, I'm like a little boy. Here. These women run me. Who 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 has been them? Look, be real on the camera. Who has been in our relationship? Who has dominated this relationship? Controlled the flow of energy? Act the goddamn fool whenever they want to and get away with it? Me. Talk to them. I mean, me. And I only, let me just say this. So, yes, I only say it like that because I never used to see it like that. But now that I really see who I have been as a person in maneuvering and how he has had to uh, maneuver around me and my energy every morning, just knowing how I was going to feel. To wake Never up, know who she going to be. Um, how I was going to feel to come home from work. You know what I'm saying? When I'm irritated at something else, I'm irritated at everything. And um, how obvious all, a lot of my manipulation and trickery have been. Mm -hmm. You know, now that I, I really see it, not because he told me, like, I see it. Like, I know that this is who I am or who I've been and who I will be again when I feel I need to. I can't imagine he's been the same person every day. I know who he's going to be, even if he's excited. It's still always the same excitement. You know what I'm saying? Now, watch this. Watch this. I want to ask you this on camera, and I, I want you to answer last, and then we're going to ask these women. This is what women don't understand about putting up with a woman. Is this my granddaughter said all women are the same, some are just worse. Again, all women are the same, some are worse. Get you one that's the same. Now, watch this, ladies. I'm gonna ask y'all on the timeline. I want you to say hell yes if this is a true statement, ladies. When someone asks you a question, do you read their mind trying to figure out why they're asking you? And once you've computed why they're asking you that, you answer based on that again. So if someone asks a black woman a question, black woman, I have this question for you. Do not a black woman say, wonder why they asking me this. Hmm. Calculate, calculate. I know why they asking me this. I'm going to answer it differently because I don't want them to know how I feel. Black woman, do you hide your feelings? Do you do that every time? Now watch this. Do you do that every time someone asks you a question? Every time. So that means we are dealing with a constant, what you call it what it is, because this is what she hated for me to say it is. What is it a constant? Oh, um, um, I'm disseminating, I'm lying. There you go. Because at first you said trickery and manipulation. It's a goddamn motherfucking lie.
If I ask my wife something and she analyzed why she can't read my fucking mind, I'm a boy, she a girl. I can't help it. I can't help it. This is the thing. Now listen. I can't help it. I don't want to help it. But watch this. Let me let me get, let me give him some game. I'm gonna give him some real game okay. right here. The reason she reads my mind and analyze it is because she don't love me. She picked me for usages. See, if she'd have picked me for love, she could be humble and tell me the truth. Yeah. If she'd have picked me for love, she wouldn't feel like daddy is coming in to ask her something and she's in trouble. Yeah, right. If she would have picked me for love, she would know that I love her and want to be gentle with her. If she would have picked me for love, if she would have picked me for love. See, she didn't pick me for love. See, all these feelings of niceness. Let's talk. Let's look at each other. Let's, let's act it out. See, y'all think love means this. Look at each other. Smile. Feelings of niceness. Kisses. Hugs. Sex. I buy you stuff. Y'all think you're supposed to feel like that. That's not how you feel in a relationship. That's not how you're supposed to feel. But if you feel like that in a relationship... Those are the persons you can talk to and tell your heart out. That's why the nigga on the side or the bitch on the side that ain't providing none, you can, you can pour your heart out to them. I pour my heart out to a side bitch. She can pour her heart out to a side nigga. You don't lie to side people. You don't have to lie to side people because you like them. See, we really don't like each other like that. You don't like me, do you? Not all the time. But I'm just so goddamn useful. Yeah. I don't like this motherfucker right here. But she's just so goddamn useful. <laughs> now, do we like each other? We had the initial sexual attraction. The initial <laughs> chemistry. We had the initial vision and dream. So, we got together. Sexual chemistry, vision, dream. We had that. We got together. And then we kept growing more and more useful to each other. After years of putting up with a black woman, every question you ask a black woman, she think and calculate your brain and answer for you and basically tell you a fucking lie. But you see her change her voice for the white lady at fucking Arby's. The white lady at Arby's, the cashier, she can't fake it for you. She walking on, walking on Arby's. Oh, hi, white lady. Hi, I'm white too. I'm just changing my voice to you for no fucking reason at all. So what you have to understand, this woman finna have a PhD, man. That's what I love. You think I'm gonna let this motherfucker go? <laughs> this motherfucker ain't finna have a PhD speaking tours, touring all around the world, shit. That's what people don't get like the, I'm gonna the be whole staying idea. at home like hey me and Lynn need some money, goddammit. You the know what I mean? The whole idea of me going to college is because I married a man in college. He took a chance on me. You know what I'm saying? And so Hold up, together, watch this. Tell him, you had met a college student that you actually had those feelings for, right? Yeah, but you married me. No, I'm just saying, uh, tell them what the college student that y'all, and they cool to this day, they cool. Like, tell them what the college student who you had the feelings for told you. He couldn't, uh, he couldn't bring me home to his mother, especially once I had a kid. His parents, they was just, no, I mean, we still cool. He hella proud of me. Um, he a lawyer. I think they still be fucking too. I played the fifth. I know, nah. but they still cool. I, I met the I brother. Mean, it's, that's that's I mean we shared some deep things and so that love didn't didn't get me married and it didn't stop me from having a baby by a nigga in the street. But watch this, watch this. Real live on camera. You can talk to that man and that man can encourage you in ways that I can't, right? Yeah. Cause you loved him. Yeah. You didn't try to use him. Mm -hmm. When you using a motherfucker. You feel like you got to be used back. So there's a bound. Hold that. See, with me and her, there's a, a tug of war. God damn, I'm teaching these motherfucking idiots mm -hmm. something, man. Y'all don't understand when you in this relationship for the long haul and using each other, there's a tug of war. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, hey, I'm more useful than you. You getting older. You this. 
you don't do this, da, 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 da. and you like, but I'm finna have a PhD. And, and, and Davion finna graduate from college, nigga. So I'm like, God damn it, I gotta do all this shit she expected me to do, and I've been doing my whole life, and this motherfucker ain't it. I don't feel, I could feel less useful. Cause now I ain't the father to the kids no more. She could feel less useful because why? There's another woman with another pussy in here. You see what I'm saying? There's always a tug of war. So when you're in a relationship that's built on, see, you only relationships gonna last are the ones that's built on usatory. Yeah. The relationship that's built on feelings gonna crumble because she not gonna look the same. I'm not gonna look the same. We gonna age. You can lose your, the usatory relationships. But I'm gonna keep some abs because I'm at least feel like my yeah. abs keep me popping. <laughs> they, they, they don't. They don't understand this. Yeah. So there's I always a tug of war between me and you. Yeah. Because I got to say like this. I got to still protect you and motherfucking do everything I ever done before. I don't get my dick sucked like I used to. I got shit to do. I don't get my dick sucked like I used to. And she like, well, you don't do this like you used to. She could be like, nigga, you don't got no health insurance no more. We out here assed out. We go to the doctor. We got to pay cash. Nigga, you used to have effort. Then I got to say, well, I, 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 I help. You see what I'm saying? There's always a tug of war going on. Mm -hmm. See, when, when that feeling shit, hold it. When that, when that feeling and that cute shit is there, it don't matter. Drop it. Mm -hmm. Drop it red. Oh, well, I done fucked you two, three times. Ain't no need to argue with you. Mm -hmm. Shit, I can go get somewhere else. Nigga, I don't want you to, you know, fuck it. So what? Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. See, when you got a property or two together, there's a, this bitch, I'm like, this motherfucking house have mine. It'll be paid for in eight more years, goddammit. Think I'm leaving. This motherfucking house have mine, goddammit. I'm like Dr. Dre wife. So I damn sure ain't leaving her. Once this bitch get paid, we take the equity and get us a bigger house. We rent this one out. I turn this, keep this as a studio. You think I'm going to walk out on this? Mm -hmm. Of course you can walk out on your boyfriend or the nigga you fucking with and you got an apartment, he's sleeping with you. Mm -hmm. Of course you can walk out on your bitch, she ain't got nothing. It's so easy to walk out on the motherfucker, you ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. You use each other for the wrong reasons. Yeah. So when you out here talking about I'm in love with somebody and, and talking about it's about love, it's about usage. But see, the thing about a woman... They hate to say words. They hate reality. Yeah, you, I a have, woman, I hold on, hold on. A woman has said, I just poked him in the chest till he died. No, you stabbed me. So when the woman hear the word usage, she say, uh, I don't like the word using. Mm -hmm. I so don't she, like that. Watch this. That's this is sister said her and her husband. husband. Let's see, can we bring her in? Let me see, can I turn it on so I can have people come in? Somebody asked, a woman, sister, asked me for a request. Go ahead, you got the mic. Um, I, It was going along what you said. Like, I didn't, when I came, when I was coming to this realization, when we would talk about it, I didn't want to say I didn't love this person. I didn't want to say I didn't love you. But I knew I didn't. And I knew I had a list. And I talked about this list, that you were on this list. And if it, and nothing on this list said love. That's things that she could use. Ten things. And none of it said love. I wrote it. He everything on it, right? Um, I didn't understand that being in love with someone is not what gets you to have longevity in a relationship. So it's like we arranged our own marriage. And that's why I'm still working on that usatory uh, situation. I didn't like the word use. So a lot of this freeness that we can have as women, we won't because we're so walking around saying that we want somebody to love us and we blaming men for not loving us when you ain't never really loved nobody no way because you don't even, you don't mess with nobody. Put like this, there's a guy right now that love you that you don't like. Every woman has that, but she don't like him. He's not cute. He don't have this. He don't have that. That's Let me give him some game real quick, and I think we can we can solve all this. As a woman, it's impossible you for you to love a man because you don't pick the man you have. Oh well, yeah. Let me give you some real game. Let me give you some yeah. real game. A man can so called love a woman. When I saw her, I chose her. I wanted her. She allowed me yeah. to pick her. I allowed. 
So oh, she yeah. got yeah. with the she she accepted the best of what the world threw at her. Mm-hmm. I picked her out of a hundred million trillion women. So does. my feelings for her are there. She but she also is usatory. See, it was some about her sway and her swagger that I liked. It was a Suge Avery quality about her. There was a, a, a girl in this prettiness, innocence about Lynn that I like. So when I pick them, I love them if there's a word because I chose them. When you're a woman, you just sitting back. You might see 10 guys you want in love, but you just can't go get what you want. She wanted the guy that told her, hell no, I can't take no bitch with no kids home. That's who she wanted. <laughs> see, the picker loves Watch this. Let me give these motherfuckers some simple game. Can't nobody go buy you something better than you could pick for yourself. Yeah. See, me coming to her, it's like God or the universe buying her something. You see what I'm saying? It's like you was gifted this. It's a motherfucker out here now hey, Elena. that she would rather have more than me. It's a motherfucking man out here that you would rather have more than me, ain't it? Not really. But just I'm talking. I about mean, it. I would mess with somebody. I know, I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, oh yeah, yeah, if, I, somebody popped up. <laughs> if you mind. if you had the choice, you know, to have who you wanted, you would have him, right? Mm-hmm. But you can't. So you can't love me like you love him because you didn't want me. You accepted me. Yeah. I picked you. Mm-hmm. Women, y'all don't understand. Y'all never going to understand. I wanted to add, though. I, I felt like I loved, say I loved my baby daddy. It's together nine years. He never married me. We ain't have no wedding date. In, 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 you know what I'm saying? I got two kids. So I'm cold. He go to jail, come home. And then the year he married. And the first thing he said to me is Chris, I love her. That's exactly what he said to me. He said, Chris, I love her. I walk in the mall with her holding her hand. I knew exactly what that meant. I spent nine years with somebody that didn't walk in the mall with me holding my hand, but we got two kids together. Say that again, because I don't think they clearly got that. There was a piece. You know how you test. Say that again. Uh, Me and my baby daddy, he, we was together that long. I loved him. We got two kids together. But he never married me. We didn't even have a date when we were probably going to get married. Then he goes to jail. He comes home. And within a year, he is married. And he says to me, Chris, I love her. I will go to the mall with her and hold her hand. And I understood what that meant. And nine years and two kids didn't make him love me enough to go with me. I mean, to marry me. Everybody and, or knew, hold your hand or in the hold mall. my hand in the mall. You know what I'm saying? And I understood that. And it wasn't even a thing because me and Jay was already together. But it was that thing that he know. I'm like, you just got out of jail. How are you married this fast? He love her. He hold her hand. So um, we looking at it so ass backwards. Woman, you will never fall in love. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Woman, a woman can't fall in love. Because you're not picking who you want. You're accepting who pick you. Listen, no one can go pick for me something better. Give, if somebody gave Chris $100,000 and said, go buy Javon something. She can't spend that fucking $100,000 better than I could for my own self. So as a woman, you are being chosen as a woman, you're never going to get the guy that you want. It's the same thing you can ask yeah. a gay person. Now listen, you can ask a fucking gay person. A gay person to tell you, I'm being chosen. I can't have who I want. That's as a I don't even a woman don't even understand that she can't fall you didn't pick your husband. Let me bring her on. Yeah, I about to say she you. said she picked her husband. You can't make a man marry You didn't pick your husband. You let your husband know that you liked him and he picked you. Yeah. 
If you picked your husband, let's just be real. He's a fucking simp. And you don't fucking want him. That's don't tell saying. on your fucking cell phone to lie if you can't come in and defend yourself. That's what I was going to say. I think that's why a lot of women walk around being like they be in a relationship when they marry. Because that man is usually not the man that you loved. Because he's the man that picked you. And you allowed yourself to be picked so you don't be feeling... Whatever the extra thing that you think you felt for the dude that you love. Let me help these guys you. out. If she asked you out, you a simp. And she felt safe. Women don't ask men out that they are like in chemistry and attracted to because they're scared of rejection. Let's, let's just talk. See, a nigga like me, I don't buy women drinks at the club. I'm too tall and I'm too handsome. She said, from the moment I saw my husband, I was like, this man is me. And he picked me same time. Okay. You said, I hope he picked me. And he picked you. He could have not picked you. Listen, when I go to the club. I seen you and I thought you was fine. Yeah. I mean, I always thought he was fine. We I worked together. Always... I did a play for her. I turned two. two plays for her. I thought, I mean, everything that. And then when I wanted is... her, she said. Yes, oh, motherfucker. I and I told her the honest truth from day one. Well, tell them the words I said cause so they see it <laughs> on live, goddammit. Tell her the words <laughs> I said. Uh, I think you're supposed to be my wife, but you don't want to mess with Eddie Kane because one woman is never going to be enough for me. Boom, we still together. Told her the truth. And we was able to establish some. See, y'all think fucking and cheating mean that love ain't there. Let me show yeah. you how dumb the black race is. Would you rather monogamy or commitment? Would you rather monogamy or commitment? So watch this. Mm -hmm. A motherfucker could be monogamous for you for a week, two weeks, mm -hmm. a month. Y'all motherfucking black women are so fucking stupid. That's that aggressive self-help. I'm making him feel fucking dumb now. Watch this. And, and, and I love you. I love black women. Very much. I got two. I got a black mama, black sisters, black aunts, and everybody. Now watch this. Women, yes or no? Women, commitment or fucking monogamy? Look at all the women. I will just fuck you for three days until I'm tired of you. I will commit to fucking just you for a year. But I don't want to go with you. Mm -hmm. Y'all are out here fucking guys that you know ain't monogamous with you. That ain't committed to you. That you can't call on for shit. I told you if I could. Slide it back down. Somebody say something. What is you fucking this man for? Javon, you are so right. My husband chose me. I accepted his choice. Had another brother whom I was back and forth for eight years. We spoke, finally closed that chapter. And he said... Uh, and he saw me man enough to claim you. Yeah. If a woman yeah. pick a man, he's a dweeb. You're her safe choice. If a woman, yeah. Mm -hmm. If she shoot her shot at you, you're a dweeb. Because I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm a 6'6 six, six handsome motherfucker. I look like Ramses the second King Jophet Jophet's daddy. I look like Matthew Moose's first uncle. I look like God himself. I had a little girl tell me one time I, I was fucking a mama and I normally don't meet kids, but she didn't know. So the little girl needed some. So I met the lady and we was having lunch and the little girl had a little drawing machine. Remember I told you about this? Mm -hmm. This little girl had, I started crying. I came home. I said, Chris, there must be a calling on my life for women. I done came home and told my wife, I was out with a bitch and her daughter, <laughs> her daughter drew me on a little finger machine. Yeah. And the daughter said, and, 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 and that pussy. she was trying to do all that. But I know, what the fuck is you out here eating for with me for? I done got your daughter the two for twos, the free twos, this nights on kids night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, shit, you can order all the liquor and alcohol you want. And, and uh, your daughter eat for free. I'm going to get her a little extra ice cream afterwards. So I'm just nice and born to get that pussy. She knew she was going to give me that pussy anyway. She just wanted a meal. And the little girl done fucked with her head. The little girl drew the shit. She said, what's that? She said, mommy, it's him. Don't he look like God? I said, oh, I got to go. <laughs> I can't guilty. I left. I ain't even hit that pussy. Now, watch this. 
I'm a 6'6 man and I'm afraid and intimidated to holler at bitches. I was afraid and intimidated to holler at her. Range Rover, woman in church. She used to be praising God, you know, hands. She used to be crying. I was like, this bitch crazy. This bitch is really in church, you know what I'm saying? I was like, this bitch be crying and praising. She worked with the youth. I was trying to marry she somebody giving go to money hell. And she, I didn't look, want to burn This hell. bitch was giving plenty of money to the church. Yeah. Chris was making about six, seven thousand dollars a month. I would be sitting in church with her, talking to her, and she get ready to pay her tithes, and she she write a uh, hold her hand like a kid that don't know how to hold a pencil. And I'm sitting here, and I'm like, let me see how much this bitch write for her tithes this week. And this bitch then wrote two hundred. I said, what you made? She's like, oh no, that's what I made this week. I said, this bitch made two thousand dollars this week, and then gave the church a real two hundred. I said, this bitch is real crazy in the church. But the, I ain't know people being there faking. I didn't know that. The I point I'm making it. was I had reasons I was scared to holler at her. But as a man, I done played football, got my ass kicked. I know how to still pursue. But if a woman like a guy, she going to be scared to you holler. Know what? So if a woman holler at a man, if your woman shot her shot at you, you a fucking dweeb. <laughs> or you're a dope boy that's getting used. I want to say this real quick. Why do the dope boys be paying for pussy? I know. Fuck the game up for niggas like me. I was fucking the cheerleaders from the smart girls to cheerleaders to the hood rats. Here come the dope boy. You want a hundred dollar pass uh, earrings? I got your old necklace from the kiosk in the mall from Rock Mod and them. All that bullshit. Go ahead, baby. Um. She okay. picked her second husband. Uh oh, mm -hmm. Dweebo. <laughs> Dweebo. <laughs> no, go ahead. I forget. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't cut you off. No, that's fine. Family. Uh, we gave y'all a lot of information today. Listen, pick somebody you can use because love ain't real. One of the hardest things for my wife was to me. I used to be like, you oh. don't love me. Go ahead. Oh, if I ever heard, uh, oh, I didn't hear enough older women giving real game. That's why I sit up here and I share this. But one thing a woman did to let me know that still let me know it was okay. It should balance out somewhere. It was like marry a man who loves you, not the man you love. An older woman said that in the shop. And I thought that it was wrong to do that because we're always not wanting that to be done to us. But let me say something so we can see how y'all don't listen to no goddamn body. Yeah. Now listen, think about what I just said. The older woman said, marry the man that loved you, not the man you love. Because mm -hmm. the man you love, you're not going to get. The man you love, you loving him for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. Everybody love him. Yeah. Everybody love him. Everybody love him. And also, everybody got a fucking child by the man you loved. Everybody got a child. So I said a woman can't love a man because she is the one being picked. So when grandma said marry the man that love you, she really said marry the man that want to marry you, you fucking dummy. Yeah. You fucking dummy. The man that wants to marry you is the man that's going to take care of you and stay around. And grandma's sitting back like, yeah, you know what? I married your granddaddy, had 12 kids by him. The first lead is black as me and you. Our 13th one is albino because I got tired of him fucking around and I finally fucked the goddamn white male man that had it. But grandma's sitting back. When your granddaddy died, when he, he was 20 years older than me, I got goddamn uh, insurance. I got land. Mm -hmm. You waiting on me to die so you can get the goddamn house. Now you're going to go out and try to be with somebody that you love. That's what's wrong with y'all mind. Mm -hmm. Black music. Black women used to sing. I'm telling you, I ain't leaving. I die. I'm going crazy. Silly of me to think that I could ever, ever find a guy. How I love y'all motherfucking stupid. Turn around and no, no, but watch this. Y'all generation, the hard-headed woman that nobody didn't beat. No, listen. I'm listening. Y'all hard-headed bitches because nobody couldn't beat your goddamn ass and slap the shit out of you when I mean change the game. I pick who I want to pick. Money. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Now you, hold up. Now you in a situation with men in the world where you're out here by your motherfucking self, unprotected. Then women in the day, back in the day said, 
Ain't no way in the hell I'ma go smiling in the what 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 what, what that motherfucking Betty Rice say? You can be a cook in the kitchen, a lady in the streets. You can't show your teeth to every guy you meet, bitch. You don't need to be showing your motherfucking teeth mm -hmm. to every motherfucking Tom, Dick, and Harry. I boy, I feel like a faggot talking this shit right now. Mm -hmm. You don't show your motherfucking teeth to every motherfucking Tom, Dick, and Harry, bitch, bitch, bitch. You show your motherfucking teeth to the motherfucking nigga that won't chew. That's why you motherfucking hoes is by yourself, single, and I'm fucking your boyfriend. God damn it, skinning and grinning at every motherfucker you like. Damn, let me say this. So, two things. One thing is, if I was in love with him the way I wanted to be, there'd be no lies. I would be so fucking insecure. Yeah. No one. All these bitches on here want to fuck me. So, let me she let me she me couldn't take it. it. I show her my inbox. So if you can send me your, your pussy, pussy, I, I it. showed it. I saw it. So I let me showed say this. It. Real talk. Whenever somebody, you showing this shit, somebody see it, whatever, they be like, oh, you should be fucking capping for me. You should be like, yo, this woman has shared her husband with me. I have a chance at a better life because of that. Share your own insecurities. That's what you I'm saying. You up here, no makeup, marks under your chin, showing these bitches yeah, you don't like, need all that shit. So, like, for real, for real. You done taught these motherfucking hoes. do what I've done. For us as women, because nobody would be this vulnerable. Ain't no other motherfucking woman letting her nigga her. come up here, talk this king shit, all these motherfucking bitches on the motherfucking timeline. She know if the bitch got natural hair, I want her. Mm -hmm. So she know. But you got to be a real motherfucking earner to get in my life. Look, now let's go back real Look, quick. it's funny because... Go ahead, Chris. My homegirl, Helena, popped up. And when she started, Helena know me. I used to do Helena hair. So Helena, she she know me. She know my baby daddy. She know all of that. And she done popped up. She jet black. She got this gap. She got this hair. I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> First thing I done is send that motherfucker friend request. And then inbox her. <laughs> What year you was at Central? She said, I was there with you. She said, you might not remember me. Then I looked at the page. She said, I used to be big and fat. I said, God damn, big as you was. God damn, I Listen, don't remember you. Something. She done so lost up. a lot of motherfucking yeah, weight now and turned beautiful. from an ugly duckling to a goddamn swan. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. You was always beautiful. But you was mean before. You could see the beauty. You could see you feel great about yourself. That's what I'm Look, saying. Look, she lost some weight and went natural. Oma Lola did the same thing. Lost some weight and went natural. Mm -hmm. Oma Lola looked like she goddamn was black as a goddamn stereo before she lost her weight. I want to go back to that scripture real quick and then we going to end it up. Real quick because I want to show the women something. Somebody go back. Somebody had already put it up. Y'all hit that motherfucking cash app for the da-da. Hit that cash app. Chris, let me go find your song real quick. Uh, you talk while I find your song. Y'all hit that cash app real quick. But somebody put up that scripture. Uh, you lost a whole goddamn another girl. She lost 120. Look, somebody put up Isaiah 4-1 again for me. Isaiah 4-1. I'm about to go find my latest song real quick and show y'all what this love shit is some bullshit, but that usatory shit is real. Uh, go ahead, baby. Talk <laughs> the coward, you did not... <laughs> you is so great. I, I don't know she said, can I fuck y'all? <laughs> you goddamn right. You can fuck me. You got to ask her on your own. You ask, <laughs> I got to talk about you. Nah, you you like, can fuck me if you I'll want to. I'll be like, if you really G, you'll hit me on the inbox and pass the message along. I, 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 I tell the truth about life. I ain't fucking with no woman through online unless she can give me some fucking money. You know I... I got too money. much protection and covering. So if I ain't fucking with no woman online, if you want to fuck me through online, you got somehow you got to benefit my household. You know what I'm saying? I'll fly out to your city, fuck you, keep you feeling good, you know, mentor your kids through the internet. I'll be the goddamn daddy through Facebook. And see, a lot of women don't realize they need that service. I'll come up with a real treatment plan for your child mm -hmm. and, and change your child's life through the internet. I'm trained to do that. But you're going to pay me. And see, people will be like, what? I'm too fucking busy. I don't care. Hey, Chris. You better not do nothing for free. I'm telling you, I'm from the streets. I'm a money bitch. That's all I hey, said. Chris, I tell make what money. I you say. think I'm going to want him to be with somebody that can't add to the 
to the, the kingdom that I'm making sure it stay built? No fucking way. You hey, somebody put that kingdom. scripture up. Okay, look. Randy Watson, Wally Wallace. Thank you, brother. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying... Seven women take hold. Seven women. So I'm missing five bitches. Y'all, I'm y'all crazy. Seven women will take hold of one man. These seven women will eat. Will say, we will eat our own bread. That means we got our own money for food. Mm -hmm. We gonna wear our own clothes. We can buy our own shit. Mm -hmm. Only let us be called by thy name to take away thy reproach. Now this is what a woman don't know. This is why I tell a woman. Don't you never tell no motherfucking man you love him until he committed to you. Because seven women going to chase one nigga. Oh, yeah, He's Lorenzo. So go ahead and get right, baby. <laughs> hey, look, I'm trying to get every nigga on this page two, three pieces of quality pussy. I'm a polygamist. I believe we need our own city. village. We need our own city. All these motherfucking women on here that's got children, niggas like me and Lorenzo, we're going to be stay-at-home yeah, motherfucking daddies. Yeah. These women got plenty of money, but we got money, too. We ain't no broke niggas that ain't got no resources now. But watch this. Let me say this. Seven women run to one man and say... We got our own food, buy our own clothes. Can we ca be called by your name and take away our reproach? That's our shame. So what a woman is saying, I want to be motherfucking claimed. Mm -hmm. I want to be claimed. And that's a woman's biggest motherfucking fear, mm -hmm. threat, and worthiness. Right now, on, that's let, why let you me have finish. an internet boyfriend. Yeah, right now, Just through this claimed. corona, but they fake claimed. I know. They, but they, but watch yeah. this. They claim fakely, but the nigga won't come change their tire. Won't go jump their battery. Yeah. Won't come put some gas in it. Won't do nothing for them. Won't they take their kids? But they, they, they a bitch and say, I'm a side bitch. That's what that seven women have said. I'm a side bitch. Just claiming. So what they really saying is, hey, yo, Javon. <laughs> hey, Javon. Javon, if I send you. Three, four hundred dollars a month, five, six hundred dollars a month. Will you claim me as your other Facebook wife? You fucking right I will. Fly to your city because you're going to help take care of this household. All you want to be is claimed. A woman you just. You a reality at, show. Yeah. Yeah. Where the yeah. next five at, <laughs> goddammit? You got five on it. Yeah. And it's the truth. Yeah. And these motherfucking pussy ass niggas. Now, you know I ain't going to let your pussy ass off the hook, men. These pussy ass men on the motherfucking timeline scared to commit to a woman. Because a lot of these motherfucking men and men, y'all going to be mad. A lot of you motherfuckers was raised by single women and you a bitch. I was raised by a single woman and I was a bitch too. I knew you. I I've been a bitch a long time, man. And now I finally grew out of it. I was talking to my homeboy. I was at his house and uh, he's got a. Thank not you. Not his brother. house, his apartment. This nigga got an apartment, got plenty of money. He ain't bought a house yet. I said, man, let me use your bathroom. Went over his house, hollered at him. We playing fucking Monopoly. He got a one bedroom bathroom. One bedroom with the, with the master bathroom. I go in this room, bathroom to piss. He got a goddamn hundred colognes. I said, man, you bitch ass nigga. You got all this fucking cologne. No, call it what you want. You shouldn't care about how you smell that fucking much. It's bitch shit. Now watch this. I asked the nigga. I said, man, you 40. You a fucking lawyer. You in this fucking one bed apartment. Pretty downtown. Why you ain't got no bitch? He said, man, look at my closet. I look at the nigga closet. He got his closet, uh, all his cufflinks, <laughs> monogram, all his J's in there. He said, man, I can't share my closet. I said, nigga, you sound like an old ass fucking single mother. All these bitches out here and these niggas don't want now one. You still pussy. You still lying to hoes. Tell these motherfucking hoes the truth. We've been sharing these motherfucking hoes since we was kids. I believe I'm one of the only last of the motherfucking Mohicans alive. See how Lorenzo said, I recognize the bitch that I was in me, fam. Okay, so now he, he a man. Once you a man and said, man, I was a pure bitch. Pure bitch. My granddaddy had two, two, two modes. Slap your ass or ignore your ass. 
I'm sitting there going back and forth with a woman, arguing with a woman, acting like a bitch. Chris acting, look, I walk home, watch this. This, this, this is what my granddaddy would do, or Ike Turner would do. This, 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 uh, and, and Ike Turner, I'm like Ike Turner. I'd turn your ass into a real woman. I'd turn your ass into a real woman. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my granddaddy, a real man, you know like a woman get up and she just acting like a bitch for no reason? My granddaddy walk in the house, grandma still better hand him that goddamn plate out the oven. He go to kiss her. She give him a little side face. He said, what's wrong with you, Louise? None. He ignored that bitch the rest of the week if he had to. Men do two things for women. Ignore them or fix it. That's what boys did when we was kids. We ain't nothing but old boys. And they ain't nothing but old girls. When we was a little kid, a little girl, bringing her fast ass over there, we digging worms, playing in the dirt. She wanted to play, we ignore her. No, go ahead, we ignore her. She keep fucking with us, we gon' knock her upside the goddamn, oh, he hit me, that's cause she was trying to take my drug. Get your goddamn ass up, we don't want that shit. So the problem is, too many men are lying to women. Definitely. See, these niggas, that. is see, and that's what she didn't believe when she met me. She said, Javon, ain't nobody else telling her. It's niggas on this page that's right now. It's like, I don't care what they said in the barbershop. I'm going I'm, to I'm, 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 I'm I'm call. I, look, I, since I got a personal relationship with my boy Lorenzo, I'm going to just call him out since we talking. Since he said he realized the bitch in him. Lorenzo braiding his goddamn daughter hair. All these goddamn women on here want him. He like his space too much. He don't want to deal with no black woman. He ain't got his goddamn mind right to put that hoe in check and make her mind and get your ass over here and braid my goddamn daughter hair. And I got another one coming in, sitting there with all that goddamn money on the goddamn timeline. Nigga, you, man, that little girl's supposed to have four mamas. Now, I hope he ain't offended. Screw up. But he said, he said he, he realized the bitch in him. I, that's some of the bitch I see in him. There's plenty of things. Look at me. My chest, look, look, I got a gut. That's some bitch in me. Lorenzo ain't got no gut. Mm -hmm. So we iron shopping iron. Iron shopping iron. Somebody said bitches love taking care of men. I don't Somebody. know how they... Oh, well, I don't I know. I mean, they do, but I mean, I, I guess I didn't know how they would... Ernestine, no, you're not supposed to get your asses beat. Do you want to whoop your child? No. You don't want to whoop your child. See, Ernestine is somebody that I just... Normally, I would nation somebody like her. Matter of fact, I'm going to nation you. I want to say don't nation her. No, fuck her. Because you're a grown woman. You ask me a question. Don't put no hmm, three emojis. That's a fucking child. You're too old for that. Nation. Yeah, her name fuck is her. Ernestine. Ernestine, you too goddamn old to be. Ernestine, you 60. Now, let's have some. Ernestine. Ernestine. How the fuck you name Ernestine? You got beat. You on your third husband. You done had two fucking husbands down. You name Ernestine. <laughs> the motherfucker that's saying so we supposed to get beat is the mouthing motherfucker. That's what I was going to say. Hold up, hold up. Let me say that's something. Let say. me get into this so we can get into some real game. Because I want to show the bitchiness in us as men. Oh, Lord. Somebody else. Why I'm so angry. Nation. I ain't angry. Sherry Walker, you going to the fucking nation. You know, and, and, and I know you, but you still nationed. I nation my motherfucking sister. Fuck is she talking about? See, I don't mind them laughing emojis from women. But when a woman asks me some shit with emojis, an emoji takes away from the question. It's like a LOL. That's what a LOL used to do that. Before emojis, we came up with LOL laughing my ass off. So a nigga texts a bitch, what you doing? She said, nothing, what you want to do? I want you to suck my dick. LOL. Just in case you're doing it. Just in case you won't. The L L O. So now, if a motherfucker was to say to you, my condolences on your mother died. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. What does that do? You talking to an adult with a cartoon emoji. See, what happens is this. I'm going to tell you why we bitches. We bitches for y'all because we want some pussy. Mm -hmm. You remember when you used to be acting like a bitch for no reason? What I do, bitch up. Chris, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to cook your steak? Mm -hmm. You can bitch me. You can make me do anything mm -hmm. just to make you stop what? Mm -hmm. Acting like a bitch. 
Mm-hmm. See, I was a bitch. Now I don't give a fuck how she act. You okay? All right. Talk to me when you goddamn get out of that bitch shit. And you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So you have to understand what I'm saying is, as a man, what has happened to the black male race is, is this. Women are acting like children. Watch this. Let me give you some game. Now, this is going to be real serious. Can I get a cash app, somebody? Somebody, if, if you didn't send it, just say, I sent the cash app before I go into this. So, uh, I want, hey, look, me, Shad Hansberry, I'm going to just block you for saying I hate bitches. You trying to be slick. You know I ain't stupid. I hate bitches. I hate bitches, too. You hate bitches. Let's so, check this out. Watch this. Somebody said, I sent you a cash app just before I move into this next section so we can understand the truth of things. I'm a grown-ass man. I got Facebook. I got an Instagram because my son told me to get one because I was cooking food. I blew up on Instagram in my city cooking food. I don't even use it no more. Now watch this. Twitter, TikTok, Billy Bob and them, that's too young for me. Watch this. I didn't have children early. Thank you, Sophia Moore, for the cash app. Now we're going to get into it. So I lived my emerging adulthood, which is 18 to 24, 25. I was in college. I didn't have children early. So I had orgies, fucked, went to the all-star game, traveled, had fun, did all that shit. So I'm so grown that when someone says, hey, we got a, a childhood now challenge. Hey, child, childhood, we got to switch them up. I'm going to dress like you. We gonna put some emojis on our head and uh, see grown women are picking up the hairstyles, the makeup, the dress, trash, how to stand. <laughs> grown women are picking up that shit from little kids and little girls. And men, these pussy ass niggas want some pussy. So they hit like. And send an emoji with their tongue sticking out. I, I don't like it. And if a woman said, you never like me, I said, because you're standing in that funky ass hole stance. The useless bitch stance. This the useless bitch stance. This a useless bitch stance. You go to a profile, that's all you see. I'm a useless bitch. That's all I can do is stand and selfie. No degrees, no certifications. No, this is all I have to offer to the world. My wife sitting here, since y'all been seeing her on Facebook, she done got a magna cum laude uh, bachelor's, finna have a magna cum laude master's, about to go to Harvard or Yale for her PhD, two kids going to college, and then got a fucking sister wife, you still in the same, I'm old fuck ass bitch, useless bitch pose. I've been to Ghana. I Ghana, Africa. I interviewed Issa Rae. I interviewed Issa Rae. I'm a useless bitch. Two albums. Two albums. This is all I do. I'm a useless bitch. I ain't worth nothing. Useless bitch. And who fucking them useless bitches having babies? These useless ass fucking niggas. And now our race looks useless because these useless bitches ain't got no kids. They only post their kids when they buy Christmas. They only post their kids the first day of school. These useless ass niggas, they take pictures with their fingers up and point. You don't see no pictures of no kids. You ain't got no nephews, no nothing. That's right, Travis Fields, my nigga from Warren County. I said, who the easiest to fuck, a natural bitch or a, 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 a bitch with weed? He said, both of them if I cook. I said, my nigga, if I turn that goddamn grill on, you fuck. If I turn that stove on. So I'm going to get out of here, fam. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Men are acting like bitches for women. In order to talk to a woman now, you got to say, Roger Rabbit is. Woo! Cigar coming out my mouth. Emoji, emoji, you look good. I seen a nigga, a bitch, posted a picture. This bitch show her ass every day on Facebook. Light skin bitch on my timeline. Bad bitch. Natural hair, long hair. Show her ass every day on Facebook, right? 
All these niggas like her. The bitch inboxed me. Why you don't never say nothing? I said, I think you're a thought bitch. She said, I'm scared of you. I said, I know you scared of me, bitch. Because I think you're a low-life trash and whore. But I stick dick to you. And I see all these niggas every day. Running high up. Uh, money signs. You doing all this for this trashy bitch. This bitch don't even like you, you whole ass nigga. Emoji in these hoes for no fucking reason. Don't forget my song. Oh yeah, let me play this. Charge me up real quick. Let me put my phone on the charger. Let me play my wife jam. I'm gonna charge you up. I'm gonna plug myself into here. Doing all that shit to get a bitch attention. Knowing good and goddamn well that woman looking at you like you a pussy ass nigga typing all them motherfucking emojis and shit on her motherfucking page. I gotta get good charge or the battery gonna die and I ain't gonna be able to say the lie. So let me see. Oh, okay. We're yeah, we'll do it next time. You pussy ass nigga keep emojiing. It's on hole. Facebook. I mean.